everybody so I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul and this Dollar Tree haul I have found wishlist items DIY crafts that I want to do and just some other things like for my outside and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get started right. so the first couple things that I bought are going to be flowers for my DIY and I just recently found a channel and I seriously love her craft you guys her name is Jody's craft room and I got two inspiration inspired um, crafts that I want to do for Easter so I picked up some flowers and this one is daisies they're just purple and you guys my Dollar Tree's flower section was literally almost gone tiger lilies so I only could get what I was left really um, and then we've got some more daisies except for these are yellow All right. and then these are Easter bouquets just with it looks like daisies again possibly I don't know and then you get a little egg All right. and this is mostly going to be flowers and some of these flowers are rough you guys and then we got hydrangeas however you pronounce those the pink and white ones Alright, and then we got some more daisies, and these are the blue and purple types. So why I picked up quite a bit of flowers, I probably have got more somewhere, is because both of the crafts that I'm doing is um, requires a lot of flowers. Now one thing is I am not going to make a video on this just because this is somebody else's video. So I don't want to steal the idea of somebody else's video, but I will post them on my Instagram and I will have my Instagram information down in the description box so you can always go check it out over there. Okay. And then the next thing I picked up is just a clear vase from the Dollar Tree, nothing too fancy. This is part of the DIY. Alright, and then this right here is a wish list item and as soon as I saw this I was like oh my god super cute look at how adorable you guys just a plain simple white bunny with the pink bow as soon as I saw other people hauling this I was like have to have it super cute I just I can't live without it so I picked it up all right these are wish list items that I found now the only thing is is I did not find the complete set but I am just happy that I found these and that is one, two, three, four, five pieces of this and this is the fairy garden these are the little figurines my Dollar Tree did not have the houses and stuff yet so all I said to myself is grab these and at first I thought they were um, all of the same and I came to find out they were all of the different sets and I was like holy yes so then I just picked up this one which just has the little owl the little snail and stuff like that and then I picked up the ones that have all the gnomes super cute and then the ones that have all the fairies and then the ones that have like the little bird houses the little light post and then like a little water or a little welcome sign I thought that was a little bird bath but it ain't so I grabbed those those were wish list right, items sorry about that I had to change my lighting because everything was just looking really horrible all right so the next couple items are DIY part of my projects and these are just the two piece four by eight by 0 0.7 inches 
and these are just the circle foams for my DIYs and then I picked up the square which is 2.9 inches by 3.9 inches by 3.9 inches like holy crap <laughs> felt like I was in math class saying that so I picked that up and then I picked up this cute adorable bucket now this is the thing that is different from hers is she had an entirely different bucket and it just has the little handle and I thought this was the cutest one for the DIY that I want to do all right and then I just picked up some Easter grass for the DIY my desk is getting overran <laughs> And then I picked up some little foam Easter eggs because that's what she used as well and these are super cute like I don't know I just can't wait to show you guys because as soon as I saw that I was like I have to make that super cute super adorable all right and then the next couple items is just some toothpaste nothing exciting because you know we need toothpaste so I just picked up some because I didn't feel like going into Walmart and then the next thing I picked up is just this cute little guy for my DIY I already own two of these so it doesn't really matter he'll go with my decor that I have right now all right and the last two things is another foam thing and this is 3.8 inches by 2.8 inches by 1.9 inches here we go we're in math again <laughs> so it just looks like this so super cute can't wait and then I picked up some ribbon for my DIY as well I really love the print of this that's this is another thing that is not the same she used entirely different ribbon I got the inspiration, but I wanted to use different things that I enjoy. I didn't want to like just sit down and be like, everything that she crafted has to be the same as mine. <laughs> now, I have hauled these before, but my um, ones that I hauled are dying, and one of them I accidentally broke in my flower bed, and that is just these solar lights, except for, for some weird reason, these ones look much more better than the last year's and they look a little bit more sturdier and they also had um ones that looked like it was like concrete or something to that nature so i just picked up four of those for my flower bed let's not break them um other things that i picked up for my flower bed and when I saw these, I was like, these are a good deal because at Lowe's, they can get kind of expensive. The only thing is, is the length of these are not as big as the ones at Lowe's. So I did have to kind of buy a little bit more just to make sure it went around my whole flower bed in front of my house. <clears throat> and this is just garden fences. And they are 23.6 inches by 13 inches. And they just look like this I wanted something like this the lady that lived here before she just had like concrete blocks um, going around the flower bed and I just kind of thought that looked cheap and whatever so we'll give these a try and see how they do I picked up seven of these just to make sure because we all have been there where we have bought like five and we're like that'll do it and then as soon as you're done you're like I need like six more <laughs> so yeah so we are on the last bag and of course there are more flowers and I picked up these because I just thought these were really gorgeous flowers and I've had my eyes on these for a while and this is just whatever this is called look at how gorgeous I just really love how this looks like to me it almost looks like I don't even know but it kind of reminds me of like a Japanese flower of some kind I really like that so I added I bought it to add to my DIY 
And then we have these ones. Look how pretty. And once again, these remind me of Japanese flowers. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but to me, they just look like Japanese flowers. And I'm just going to pre-warn you, I don't know shit about flowers. So I bought flowers last spring, growed them, and they died within a week. That's how my life is with flowers. All right, and then these are just onion grasses that I picked up. I am going to be removing these flowers just because um, the way that she DIY'd it, I just want to change it up a little to my preference. So these flowers are going to be coming out. So I picked two of those up. All right, and then we are down to the nitty gritty, y'all. So I picked this cute little guy up for my DIY. It is just a cute bunny head. Super cute. I really can't wait to show you guys this DIY. I just really think it's just super cute. It's fun to do for yourself. Decor for your house. You can even do it with your kids if you have kids. So I picked up a 10 pack of the really cute. They almost kind of look like. Uh, I don't really know. They're kind of like glossy looking. I just really thought that was classy and really nice looking for Dollar Tree standards. So I picked that pack up. All right. And then everybody has been hauling these and these are such a good deal because I'm going to tell you right now, my job is selling these exact same ones for $2.39 each. And these are just the Russell Stover's um, bunnies that everybody have been hauling. And this is cookies and cream. We picked up two of the cookies and creams. One's my husband's, one's mine. I don't need to be eating it because I'm trying to lose weight before my concert. And then he picked up the peanut butter one. And then the last two items are things that I picked up for myself because my husband is not a fan of neither one of these candies. And this is just Russell Stover's Coconut Mini Eggs. So I picked that up. And then I picked up the three marshmallow eggs because I love marshmallow type candy. So... That is everything for my Dollar Tree haul, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And I will see you very soon in my next video.